<laughs> so this is the start of the new hunter's journey uh, we basically redesigned the entire company it's just me and Joel pretty much now we're hunting all public land this is going to be informational hunting tactics and just the reality of us having fun in the outdoors you know we're gonna go out and we're gonna we're gonna hunt hard and we're gonna have fun but at the same time we're gonna try to bring as much information for you guys so when you guys go hunt public land that you'll have um, some tactics in mind but today we're out here we're shed hunting a little bit for you know this upcoming deer season but this is the start of our turkey tour and so we're gonna try to scout out look for scratchings look for uh, roost spots, kind of some open timber strut zones, and see, because we're not going to be in Ohio for very much longer. We, me and Joel are taking off to Tennessee uh, in a week and four days, I believe. And um, so we've got pretty much this week to scout. We're going to try to find as much sign as we can, mark it on our uh, maps, and then we're going to take off to Tennessee. From Tennessee, we're going to Kentucky, and from there, we're coming back to Ohio so we'll be gone for we'll be gone out of state for three three different weeks so we're gonna try to get it done today right, what's up guys we're here um, on some public land down south in uh, southern Ohio and we're we just got to the spot where Hunter hasn't been yet and I wanted to take him and show him but um, we actually we found a really good bedding area and there's this trail that leads in from this apple orchard that is it's, it's kind of small apple orchard, as you can say, but it's coming right off of this ridge top that goes down. And we're finding these pinch points where we can actually get to find a tree that uh, we uh, that we could get up to and hunt it on the right wind and uh, be a successful with our deer hunts. But I know we're out here turkey scouting, but you know when we do see this kind of stuff, we do like to keep it in memory for you know the upcoming deer seasons. But as you can see here, we do have. It looks like a good bedding area and right through here there is a, a really good deer trail we found a lot of buck droppings we found um, about three or four deer beds that look like they're still they're still coming back to we found some really big old rubs which is a good sign so you know if we can find the sheds great for us and bigger opportunities so we know that these bucks aren't dead yet we know that they're alive um, so we're just going to continue on and uh, scout more for you know turkeys and and more for uh, up, uh, upcoming deer season. So, well, we just ran into some turkey sign, some scratching, and down at the bottom of here is a uh, is a creek bottom, and they're probably roosting down there, and they're coming up here on top, right along all these different habitats, and trying to get some food. So, yeah, hang words. He sucks on camera. That's all I gotta say. I'm just kidding, buddy. You're doing good. That's a little mean. <laughs> He's mean. He's a baby. I don't. I don't really remember what's on this other side. Cause if that's if that's the pines and cedars that the deer are bedding in, then we should be okay coming up over this. For sure. Sir. Because there is there's two trails that meet to one. And if you can find those pitch points and they're heavily active, you're gonna see deer, so. I don't know, this might be really good. Another thing is, is that this is kind of a low spot right on the edge of a steep, steep bank right here that kind of runs all the way to an apple orchard. And so they're running this little flat kind of sat, or not sat, bench area. They're kind of running this bench right to that, uh, right to that apple orchard from their bedding area over here behind me, so. It doesn't like too far going through there. I think we might have to get up on here and go around yeah, it. Yeah, I think we will climb That's up on really the hill. Big. Although we're, you know, getting into the turkey season, we're still kind of looking for our next upcoming deer spots. But uh, we'll definitely pinpoint this for turkey and deer because there's scratching and there's a big heavy trail with some tracks and buck droppings all over the place. There's that trail. It goes right into the cedars right there. I see it. See it? Yeah. So, we'll see ya. It's like perfectly, like, that is creepy as heck. Dude, that is deep. About 15, I don't know, 15, 20 foot. You, you found something down there. Yeah. Uh, about 10, 15, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Hate to fall in there.
Oh my god, I'm shaking. <laughs> It might not look scary on the uh, thing, but it's a pretty raggedy bridge, not gonna lie. I wanted to show you this just for deer hunting food. Yeah, he wanted to show me this because he wanted to fall in love with me on that bridge, but... The bridge was too scary, guys. I, I can't do it. My heart trembles. You can hear the wind. It's kind of quiet down here. So, this would be good for deer hunting. What's that? How about a breath? Well, we finally found really good, a lot of good scratching here. There's a nice good shelf right here that goes up to the top of this ridge. There's a lot of scratches of turkey right here. So this would be a definitely good spot. We can actually call from the top of this side of this ridge. We'll be able to hear this side, this left side and the right side. So um, it looks pretty promising, but we have really good spots that we do go to. But we're trying to explore more and find other places on public land that really we don't see much. You know, a lot of people that are hunting. So. Here's a big, really big white oak tree. And with all these big limbs up here, this would be a really good roost tree because it's got a ledge. It's got a real steep slope in the edge for birds to pitch out up to this tree really easy to roost at night. And in the mornings, they can pitch right out against this hill. So. Um, the scratching definitely goes up the side of this hill. We got a little creek, a little uh, river down here that they're probably roosting on the edge. We got a little logging road right here that they're probably strutting on. So I think ideally this spot is actually a pretty good spot for turkeys. I know there's a field up top here, but I don't know if it's if the property lines up here or not. Cause I know you can you, you can see the river, this marsh area, and then it goes up. I think. I think there might be a property of fence or something up here within maybe a hundred yards off that field. So yeah. we're probably just going to try to keep off that just to be safe because we don't like to trespass, you know, as much as people don't like being trust trespassers. And I know I don't like them either. So we're going we're gonna to keep on moving along here. It's, I mean, I'm just looking right now and there's tons, tons of scratches just right on this little side of this little, this little ridge. So side of the Tennessee so I'm ready to go guys I know we're scouting turkeys but man we have found a giant rub on this tree so next year guys you'll be tuning in with us for these amazing um, public land whitetail hunts mine not on there you go so wow that's all I got to say.